In health headlines tonight, another example of the generosity of British Columbians who've responded to the need for a new and better children's hospital in this province. Thanks to their help, the fundraising goal is nearly met. And tonight we have the story of a family from Langley whose donation will help equip that new hospital. Here again is Elaine Yong. Christmas has always been a big deal for the Skidmores, but the holidays mean even more. After all that 14-year-old Alex has gone through, he's had two kidney transplants, though you could say it's been a family affair. And then me and mom, we became a match. Yeah. And then the doctor had to have a sit down with us to say, okay, well, between the two of you, who should go first? Oh. Alex was born premature with a number of complications, and at a year old, his kidney started failing. After spending two years on dialysis, Clarice Skidmore donated a kidney to her grandson. I was thrilled. It was so exciting. I could hardly wait to donate that kidney. <laughs> I could hardly sleep at night. I was just thinking, oh, this little grandson of mine is going to be so healthy after it. Alex's condition improved dramatically following surgery, but unfortunately that didn't last. And it turns out his dad's kidney wasn't a good match. He would have rejected it. Instead, Gary Skidmore agreed to give another recipient his kidney in exchange for one for his son. Six donors and six recipients took part in the paired exchange that day. This is the picture that you guys gave us. Oh my God. Now the family is giving back, donating $3 million to the dialysis unit in the new children's hospital. It was because of uh, Alex and uh, how great it was, how it operated in the family, and how great this uh, hospital was, all the nurses. And then all of a sudden I thought, well, we were really blessed. So, these children are spending, on average, 16 hours a week physically here, uh, sitting in their chair. So, if you think about that, that's the equivalent of two of your work days, or at least three days of school uh, that they're physically sitting, or um, in some cases, lying in beds. So for young patients with kidney disease who are now on the same path as Alex Skidmore was more than a decade ago, the gift is a lot more than a generous donation. It's also the inspiration that there is always hope. Elaine Young, Global News. And if, like the Skidmores, you'd like to help BC Children's meet its fundraising goal, you can call toll-free the number on your screen, 310-2224. The contact information is also available on our website, globalnews.ca slash bc.